Hello, I'm Tina Hudson of Complete in Christ Ministries. Thank you so much for joining me again this week as we walk through the book of James during our time called Thursday Talk with Tina. I thank you so much for the privilege to serve you up a devotional sized portion of the Word of God. If you'll remember last week, we ended James chapter 1 with verse 12, where we were talking about James encouraging the believers to endure until the end, and if they did, they would receive a crown of life. But that car carries with it uh, some conditions. It is for those who love the Lord. And as we talk today about the temptations that we all face in life, it is important to remember that it is the love of God and our love for Him that will carry us during times of temptation. In verse 13 of chapter 1, James says, Let no one say when he is tempted, I am being tempted by God. For God cannot be tempted with evil, and he himself tempts no one. But each person is tempted when he is lured and enticed by his own desire. When that desire um, has conceived, it gives birth to sin. And sin, when it is fully grown, brings forth death. Do not be deceived, my beloved brethren. So what James is warning against here is temptation. Now, we have just learned that God provides tests and trials in our lives to grow us up, to give us more faith, to give us endurance and strength. So what is the difference between a temptation and a trial? Well, a temptation is an inward thing that the enemy brings into our lives to cause us to doubt God, while a trial is an outward circumstance that God uses to develop endurance and strength and growth and patience in us. So we're going to face trials in this life, but what we do with them is what matters the most. Are we going to grow or are we going to give in to those temptations? James says here that it is when that desire, that lust, as it says in other, uh, other versions, becomes something that controls us. Because you see, a desire is a natural thing, like the desire to eat or the desire to sleep. But it becomes a temptation. It becomes a sin when we go overboard with that, such as with ice cream. I love ice cream. I love sweets. I could live off of ice cream and other sweets. And yet, that's not what's best for me. And God always chooses what is best for us. When James says that that desire, it becomes sin when it is born within us, when it becomes more than just a thought in my mind, but it becomes an act of my will. And I act upon that in a sinful way. It's a fishing term that he's using here to bait the hook. And when I take that bait and it becomes an action in my life, then that's when the temptation has turned to a sinful activity. And so James says, don't be, uh, don't be deceived, brothers, because when we indulge in sin as believers and we know better, it's going to produce death. It produces death in a lost person's life by its eternal separation from God. It produces death in a believer's life when we allow that sin to become more important to us and it steals all of our joy and our hope and our contentment. So where are you today? Are you battling with temptation in your own life? The love of God will help to carry us during those difficult times. Thank you for joining me today, and I pray that God has said something through his powerful word that will give you strength to endure today. Thank you, and may God bless you.